Yes, we are live and we are in one of the famous um, parts of Fukushima. Famous because um, it's just 15 kilometers from here to the Daiichi nuclear power plant that was destroyed during the um, great earthquake that happened seven years ago. And as you can see, the radiation is normal, so this level is absolutely not dangerous. And this is um, the station, the Odaka station, so I'm in front of the station. And this used to be a, you know, a township of 20,000 people, so the streets were full of activity and uh, uh, but however, even though uh, people are allowed to come back and it's not dangerous, like seriously not dangerous to live here, only 2,000 people out of 20,000 decided to return to their homes. And uh, the, those few who are here are happy and they say, but 2,000 came back. So little by little, let's hope that you know this place will return to what it was before but uh, i have to say many like for example this house this house are inhabited so people have moved to other parts of japan and have their started their new life and don't want to return back to this place and um i want to show you this is a decoration for the star festival that I was filming in Tokyo a couple of weeks ago actually on uh, 7 July 7th of July and it looks so kind of romantic to have these decorations here um, just like that for for nobody you would say and this is another um, traditional decoration for the star festival and with this evening sky you know it kind of looks a little bit sad but it also looks um, yay we have a live viewer it looks like you know there is hope in this place and look at this maybe you are used for from all the modern cities new york tokyo to have rental bicycles so even here where there's basically nobody they have rental bicycles that cost only some like two dollars a day to rent and so the name of the city of this place is Odaka and here there are uh, volunteers uh, you know who come from all over Japan to help revive this area and um, so look at these flowers like you know it's nobody basically nobody lives here but there are flowers growing and these flags are for the amazing Soma no Maui festival you know the samurai festival that is going to be held tomorrow and after tomorrow <laughs> so tomorrow these streets will be full of samurai yes and this is the ryokan where i'm staying actually i'm here because of my friends I was friends with them before the um, earthquake happened. Um, actually, I came here to film for a um, movie, and now they are part in a movie produced by Ridley Scott, where I'm directing a part of the movie. So, the lady owner of this uh, ryokan, uh, Miss. Tomoko Kobayashi is featured in Japan in a day 
the movie that I uh, co-directed and is produced by the amazing Ridley Scott. <laughs> so, can you imagine Ridley Scott saw my footage and chose um, her and her husband Take to be part of the movie. So that is the happy part. But then there are houses like this here and you know you see the vegetation growing so people are reluctant to come back even though it is safe and look at this this is um, from the Shinto religion so tomorrow the festival the Soma no Maui festival that uh, samurai festival um, before this earthquake happened they were coming here with the samurai horses on the streets and uh, it was part of the festivity however here is like 15 kilometers from the nuclear disaster so the entire area was shut down for three or more years and my friends who own this ryokan futabaya ryokan uh, where had to stay in like prefab prefabricated temporary lodgings that were provided by um, uh, by the government to to help them so most of the people here um, left at that time because they were forced and were not able to come back and there is no damage from the earthquake but the problem is that uh, the nuclear uh, cesium and gases got on the houses so everything has to be replaced you know washed has to be washed cleaned and wood has to be taken down replaced so many um, even the ryokan where i'm staying they it's totally renewed yeah so but it's nice to see you know you see a one car two car oh people are little by little coming back and and around here there's a very delicious sushi place but yeah at this hour it's really so mm, so uh, kind of nostalgic kind of sad nostalgic like maybe even this house like it looks as if they are maybe taking care of it but nobody lives here effectively see like this here this what a pity like a beautiful big house but people don't want to come back anyway tomorrow there is going to be an amazing it's the first day so actually the main day is after tomorrow it's on sunday but tomorrow already we are going to get to see Japanese samurai with real, I mean, not fake, not like from the movies, but like from their family, uh, you know, costumes, their costumes are keeping those costumes like a family heritage and they are going to wear that tomorrow and uh, in full samurai outfit, they are going to uh, do horse race. So that is going to look awesome so you will have something really cool to see tomorrow so let's hope it's not raining yes okay 
and we got to another place that appears to be harvesting um, solar energy like I mean you, you can see those uh, the solar panels so this is you know the, the problem of this area it's not destroyed it's not destroyed from the earthquake really nothing basically nothing no flooding maybe just minimal just very little water minimal however these you know the stigma of nuclear disaster uh, stops people from you know wanting to come back and from starting life over so the only thing that they can do to you know to use the, the, the this terrain for something is either solar panels or like i showed you in in the other video to plant um, um the, that plant uh, the the yellow the rape plant and to harvest the seeds and make that oil which is edible so healthy <laughs> safe and so let's hope that the area is going to come back to life and so tomorrow look for the amazing outfits and samurais that I'm going to film and let's hope it's not gonna rain and I'll have to introduce you to the lady the owner of the Ryokan uh, where I'm staying because um, she's just so interesting and funny <laughs> And the world star <laughs> by now. Okay, guys. So this was the quiet Odaka in Fukushima, and the nuclear disaster is somewhere 15 kilometers away from here. And yes, the meltdown happened there. So see ya.